So what is up guys, it is Nisho here today and today I'm bringing you a Red Eyes archetype discussion uh, discussing the support from Legendary Duelists. Now Red Eyes do seem to be so far based on both the, uh, you know, the theme of just Red Eyes and them being from, you know, one of the main characters of the show and the fact that they seem to be the most expensive um, support in the set and cards in the set in general. Um, we, we can just say like this is the set uh, or the archetype in most demand in the set. So Red Eyes got four new cards, just like every other archetype in the set. Like I think every deck got somewhere around four new cards. So, so far from, from the ones that I've reviewed so far. So it's pretty cool that uh, Konami is giving Red Eye support still and that they reimagined uh, Gear Freed this time. Um, you know, since it was like all these Joey cards that had nothing to do with each other. And then now like they're all being playable in the same deck. It's pretty cool. So, um, four cards here, uh, two monsters, well, three monsters, one of them being a fusion and a trap card, which is actually an equipped trap card. So starting off with Red-Eyes Baby Dragon, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level seven or lower Red-Eyes monster from your deck. And if you do, equip this card from the graveyard to it. Okay, it gains 300 attack. So the red eyes that you would summon um, is it, just level seven or lower. So you can summon any red eyes monster. Um, the original red eyes, Gear Freed Iron Knight, or you know when the uh, Black Flare. You know, you definitely have options with uh, what you would summon. And uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you get to add one level one dragon monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So when he's destroyed by battle, you special him to red eyes and he um, just equips to it just as like a scapegoat to give it 300 attack. But uh, the, real, the real sauce is when you would send it to the graveyard after he's equipped so that you get to search your level one monsters. The one that you would search is Black Metal Dragon. I do think it's nice that they've incorporated Black Metal Dragon or even like White Stone, not White Stone, Black Stone. Like both of those cards are like implemented into the archetype without even being like actual red eye support. So I do think that's actually pretty, pretty, pretty nice and solid. I can definitely see why this card is like the most expensive card in the set so far. So yeah. Next off, we have Gear Free the Red Eyes Iron Knight. So once per turn during either player's turn, if either player equips an equip card to this card, you can destroy those equip cards, then destroy one spawn chop card your opponent controls. This actually might be, now I'm going off on a tangent here. This might not be too bad in Noble Knights. It's a level four dark warrior that can, um, that destroys equip cards and then pops a opponent spell chop card for destroying that equip card. Now, if you know the Noble Knight equip spells, most of them have this effect that when they're destroyed, you get to equip them back to a face up Noble Knight you control once per turn. So if you normal summon Noble Knight monster while Gear Freed is on the field and then you equip it with a Noble Arms, Gear Freed would activate, pop your Noble Arms, so your opponent's uh, spell chop card is destroyed, and let's see if Noble Arms say um, when or if, because if Noble Arms say when, then they would miss timing, but if they say if, then uh, they don't. So. Luckily, Noble Arms actually do say if this card, if this face up card in the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one warrior, Noble Knight, monster you control, equip this card to that target. So, um, it would have been amazing if they would have named this Gear Free the Red Eyes Noble Knight. <laughs> that would have been top quality synergy right there. This, like, this, this would be my favorite card in the set if this was a, actually a Noble Knight monster. Like, they named uh, the Celtic Guard of the Noble Arms and... Uh, for some reason, they named it Noble Arms instead of Noble Knight. It w would have been too broken if it was a Noble Knight. I don't think so, honestly. But the fact is, it's a Noble Arm still makes it semi-searchable, but still not playable. But this Gear Freed, this is this is pretty lit, or would have been lit if it was a Noble Knight. So once per turn, you control, you can uh, you can send one equip card you control that is equipped as a card to the graveyard, and then target one monster or target one level seven or lower red ice monster in your graveyard and special summon it. All right, so uh, what you can do here 
is uh, if Red Eyes Baby gets destroyed by battle, unfortunately it has to be by battle, which uh, might not always be an option. But you know, you can you can bump bump it into something into something bigger. If you like have kaiju's, you can always just kaiju your opponent and then bump into like a GAMCL. Only take a thousand and then uh, special amount of Red Eyes and you know attack over. But you know, if it's something like Gear Freed, um, like Red Eyes Baby Dragon can equip to Gear Freed. Uh, Gear Freed would uh, like activate popping Red Eyes Baby Dragon and popping a spell to upgrade your opponent controls, searching you a level one either Black Stone or, or Black Metal Dragon, and uh, popping a spell to upgrade your opponent controls. And if you do have a Nighter Equip card, you can always just send it to the grave to special summon Red Eyes monsters from your graveyard. N definitely not bad synergy and does work well together. So. Um, I can see why these two are actually real expensive. Next off, we have Red Eyes Fang with Chain, um, a trap card that turns into a equip card, which honestly I think should have been its own like theme, you know, like uh, equip trap cards. Because honestly, like th them just being normal trap cards just kind of like kills it. I don't know. It, it makes it weird. You know what I'm saying? So you target one red eyes monster you control, equip this, uh, equip it to, the, equip this card to it. Dear God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> it can make up two attacks on monsters during each battle phase, and you can send this equip card to the graveyard and target one effect monster on the field. Equip this card, equip that target to the monster this card was equipped to, and if you do, while a monster is equipped uh, to it by this effect, its attack and defense become original. Equal to the original attack and defense of the equipped monster. Okay. L let me just absorb all that in. Okay, so you equip it to a red eyes. It gets to it gets to attack twice on monsters during each battle phase. So it gets to attack two monsters. Uh, you can send this equip card to the graveyard and then target one effect monster on the field. Equip this monster. Equip that target to the monster. Um, this card was equipped to, and if you do. Um, while the monster is equipped to it by its effect, is real, its attack and defense become equal to the original attack and defense of that equipped monster. Okay, so you get to swallow up monsters, uh, effect monsters on the field by sending this card to the graveyard. And with stuff like uh, Gear Free the Red Eyes Iron Knight, uh, it wouldn't synergize because. Um, it would have to send itself. It's not when when it's sent to the grave. It's like if like you can send it to the grave, so it wouldn't synergize. But um, it is like I, I do still think it's pretty amazing that you can just um, steal your opponent's monsters and just equip them to your own with Red Eyes Fang with Chain. Uh, you know, but unfortunately, this gets MST'd real quick or Twin Twisted real quick, tornadoed. Um, that effect won't be too relevant. Um, it is still searchable with. Um, Red Eyes Insight, I think it was, where you mill a Red Eyes monster and then you uh, add a Red Eyes Spell Chop card from your deck to your hand. So it being a equipped Chop card, I think it makes a balance because if this was a spell, dear God, this would be broken, man. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool support. Um, and last we have Red Eyes Slash Dragon, where it requires Red Eyes Black Dragon plus a Warrior monster. So if you ever like, I remember seeing somebody running a Red Eyes Noble Knight deck <laughs> before. I don't know if you guys uh, watched my reaction video to that. It, it, it was a pretty subpar, like, uh, April's Fool joke. But um, someone legit made a Red Eyes um, Noble Knight deck. Like, now would be a better time to do that. Just because it would actually make more sense at this point. Um, but it's uh, it's something that... I still just don't think you should do, but it's it, like it would work better if you didn't now. So, Red Eye Slash Dragon is a level seven himself, um, which is pretty cool. Twenty eight hundred attack, twenty four defense. Red Eyes and a normal monster. When a Red Eyes monster you control declares an attack, or when any Red Eyes monster declares an attack, even if it's your opponent, you can target one warrior monster in your graveyard, equip it to this card as an equip spell with this effect. The equipped monster gains two hundred attack. So, um, he gets to equip a warrior that gives him more attack. So that's that's pretty cool. And uh, when a card or effect is activated that targets a card you control, 
You can uh, send one equip a uh, card you control to the graveyard and negate the activation. If you do, destroy that card. You know, I honestly thought this would be something like different. I thought it would be like a Blue Eyes Maiden or Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Because what that does is that, you know, like, it would make sense that they would make a card that would activate, like, it, it slash has not activated when it was targeted by an effect. And then, um, you know, like, when it's targeted, it gets to, like, special summon to you or, like, another Red Eyes or something. Or you get to, like, uh, pop a card in the field or he gains extra attack. That would have been something cool. But, unfortunately, um, he negates cards that, uh, that target cards on the field or target cards you control. And you would have to send your equip cards to the graveyard to negate them. So it's something real mediocre, but it's something that can like uh, like one negate is better than like any type of negate is better than none. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he negates twin twisters. He negates um, Dryden. I don't know. <laughs> so if this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can special summon as many monsters from your graveyard as possible that were equipped to this card. So he gets to equip Gear Free and then he gets to equip Baby Dragon to him. Um, maybe other. I mean, with Red Eyes Fang of Chain, you get to equip your opponent's monsters to it. So he would probably be able to. I don't know if they would come back to your side of the field. They should. But, you know, just make sure to check with like judges or something about that because, you know, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, um, you know, like this support synergizes as well with uh, the Red Eyes archetype. Unfortunately, um, it's not enough, in my opinion, to make Red Eyes better as a deck. I do think Red Eyes are a pretty decent, like, casual option. I think it's stronger than most casual decks and, like, anime decks in general. Um, and I don't know if it stands up to the same potential as Dark Magician or Blue Eyes, but um, it does seem like it's get it, 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 it definitely got better with this support. So um, it's something that you should just look out for. And if you do happen to buy this set, um, you know, like the Gear Free and Red Eyes Baby Dragon are expensive or near expensive. Like they're like more than 10 bucks a piece. So, um, you know, you can always just sell them if you're not actually not going to play them. If you, if you get your hands on them and you're not going to play them, you can always just sell them. So, yeah. Uh, this was really all for Red Eyes I have on this point. Um, I guess it's really all for now. This was Nisha here. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, the Red Eyes segment of this uh, dissected series. And uh, next time I am going to come back with another archetype from Legendary Duelist. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.